Hey y'all, Austin here with Outer World Media. Welcome back to another video. This time we are doing a ranking of the top five Louis L'Amour books that I've read thus far this year, which happens to be five books. Um, I definitely need to fix that and get that number uh, higher, but I figured, you know what, we're halfway through the year. Let's do a ranking of the books that I've read by him thus far. So we're going to start it off with my most recent read by him, which was Sitka. Um, essentially, uh, go go watch my review. I do a little bit more in-depth there. But essentially, this is, you know, Louis L'Amour's take on uh, the time period when America was thinking about buying Russia or, or Alaska from Russia. Sorry. Um, and kind of just how little things came about to help that and whatnot. I will say this. I, I enjoyed this book. It was not really what I was hoping. I was hoping for a little bit more of an adventurous book. Um you know, I don't think there's such thing as a bad Louis L'Amour book. This just wasn't what I was expecting, really. Um, a little bit more focused on the romance than I would like. Uh, you know, as I expect with every Louis L'Amour book, there's going to be a romance of some type. I just didn't expect this to kind of circle around as much. I really should have figured it was going to with the cover. Um, <clears throat> but again, I really enjoyed this. This was a nice change of pace for a Louis L'Amour book, uh, it keeps the same tropes and pacing, kind of, uh, just in a different setting, you know, it's not Old West, even though it's kind of in those times, uh, you know, this is more of a naval story, which is nice to kind of change that and whatnot, and see your, you know, your typical Louis L'Amour, like I said, Western tropes and cliches, but just in a different setting, so I definitely, I, I did enjoy that, um, I will say none of these books are bad. You should read them all. They're just, unfortunately, there has to be an order to them. And Sitka, unfortunately, is number five. Number four, I will say, I had this in the number five spot, and I started recording this video, and the more I talked about the book, uh, you know, the more I realized, you know what? I There's a scene or two in here that bumped it up from number five to number four, and that is Hondo. Um, I know I'm going to catch a lot of crap with a lot of people because I'm putting Hondo at number four. I know a lot of people are going to say, how is Hondo not number five or two or three? Um, this book, I will say, it's kind of like the John Wayne movie to me. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite, but I enjoyed it. Um, there's one scene in particular, uh, you know, where the Apache war chief or whatever um, <clears throat> takes out Hondo's uh, companion. And I'm going to leave it at that. Um, that scene alone really pushed this book up in ranking for me. Just because when I read that, it was kind of that gut wrench feeling you get. Um, the best comparison I have is if you've read The Dead Zone, you know, the first, there's that first part of the book where, you know, the bad guy, I don't, I don't even remember what his name was, but the bad guy does something to a dog, and I don't know why, uh, but anytime I read anything about anybody doing anything bad to an animal in general, uh, you know, it's it kind of gut wrenching. You, you don't like to see that, and then especially you know being a dog owner and whatnot, you're like, man, that if that was my dog, I I don't know what I would do. Um, so definitely uh, check out Hondo again if you've seen the the John Wayne movie. There is a little bit of difference in this. This does not have the comedic scenes or what i consider to be comedic scenes um obviously it's a western it's not going to have that uh so you don't kind of get thrown off with that pacing it's pretty straightforward and serious in this and you do get some nice uh fights and, and whatnot uh and some good scenery description in hondo so check that out number three is coming number three is going to be taggart um this was a book, when I picked it up, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I like the premise of this book. Um, the reason it's number three for me is the premise of this book, just the fact that they are in this area and they are, you know, at any point in time could be found by Indians and whatnot. Then you get this guy who's been wrongfully accused of something and he's on the run and he comes in and then some minor characters that you know weren't necessarily as bad you think they would join up to try to help survive you know survive and they they don't and it's just there's a lot of elements going on there's a lot of stuff going on in this book and i mean this really is a 130 some page book it's a short book but there's so much going on in this book um this is definitely kind of like a standoff book uh not solely focused on it but it definitely is and after talking with Faceless Book Reviews, I realized, sorry, I zoned out there for a second. Um, I realized that, you know, 
that's an aspect I really like in a book. And so when I came across this and read this, I think he might have even made the comment after I read this, uh, you know, about liking it too, I started focusing more on that and realizing, yeah, I really do like that, uh, you know, just the standoff and trying to survive, you know, group together and whatnot. Uh, so again, Taggart, highly recommend this. Go check this one out. Uh, I feel like you can find this on Amazon uh, easily. Number two uh, is going to be one I know that uh, Faceless is probably like, man, why is that not number one? We both really love that book. And that is Last Stand at Papago Wells. Pepago, Papago, however you want to say it. Um, so essentially, this is what I was describing as that standoff book. You have this group or band of people that come together under weird circumstances and they have to fight to survive. Um, at Papago Wells against an Indian attack, raid, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this was just, this was an awesome book. You had everything that you would expect in a standoff movie or book to happen in this, but it's just cranked up to 10 because they're in this little area. It's just, it, it was awesome reading this. And this is really a short book. It's 120 pages. 122 pages so whole lot of crap and action packed into this book and what i mean by it when i say crap in this book i mean you just you have you know figuring out these characters and whatnot and i will say louis lamore does a great job in such a short book um you know just kind of give us some backgrounds on these characters and, and making us like you know the the guys that we're supposed to like and and hate the you know the bad guys and whatnot that's something that Louis L'Amour has always been good at that I've noticed is he can make you like a character and he can make you dislike a character in a short amount of time. Uh, so really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, highly recommend going picking this up. And my, the best book that I've read by him thus far this year has to be The Shadow Riders. Um, so this is a book um, that has... It's got a mesh of everything. It's got pirates. It's got the Old West. It's got outlaws. It's got Civil War references. It, this is just a great book. Uh, you know, this is, there's a movie based off of this book that had Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott. And if you can picture and imagine the characters like they are in the movie, but in the book, it just, it makes the book that much better because you hear Sam Elliott and and whatnot and Tom Selleck's voice in your head when you read that and that's kind of what I did with this and it was awesome uh I, I have not watched the movie but I knew which character each was so that just made a little little better so again guys the Shadow Riders by Louis L'Amour definitely go pick this up like I said you get a mesh of everything and there's pirates in there and who doesn't like a pirate book this is kind of what I was hoping like Sitka would be as far as like have pirates in there and whatnot uh unfortunately Sitka doesn't really have pirates um I wish it did but that this alone i was not expecting that so i really bumped this book up for me uh you know the beginning part where you know the, our our two main characters kind of come together that i felt well i don't want to say forced but it didn't feel like a natural you know come together type of thing and reunite but you know what that's just a little nitpick um so again guys uh the shadow rise by louis lamore is the best uh book that i've read by him thus far this year again we're halfway through the year i'm hoping to read as many more as i possibly can i got a whole shelf behind me full of them that i need to read um but as always guys i appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out my videos and y'all pick up these books even if you don't find these books if you find some other louis the books pick them up i promise you will like them y'all have a good one